when I worked at the YMCA, I worked for a wonderful lady named Dana who showed me the binder system. And I have used that now for several years and it keeps all of my household things a lot easier to keep track of uh, and I don't have to go hunting for my paperwork anymore. So I wanted to show this to you guys, uh, especially since now that we're getting like school is underway and you need to have your children's things, your spouse's things, all of your things um, just in an organized manner. And sometimes we don't want to be, ha be having those great big old like file cabinets anymore. We want something that's a little bit easier and this way you can keep what you need for the year and you don't have to carry around the rest of the stuff. So I'm going to show that to you guys in just a second. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to mention that now I finally feel like after all these years, I kind of know what this channel is going to be for and it probably will go in fluxes and changes, but I've always wanted to show you guys how I do things in my daily life, but I was too busy living my daily life to do it. Now I'm actually finding myself disabled and more at home and so I actually have time to show you guys some of the tips and tricks that I've learned. So it's a blessing in disguise kind of um, but I am working really hard on my writing and kind of building up that as my career um, because before as many of you know I was doing a lot of different things I wore a lot of different hats and spun a lot of plates and I was mostly a teacher so I've learned a lot of different things over the years from being a teacher and I'd love to share that with not only um, moms and um, people who are kind of trying to keep their homes more organized, um, but this is also for young people who if you don't really quite know how to organize your life yet, would love to just show you some of the things that I learned that I wish that I had known a little earlier. So that's what this channel is going to be kind of for and just also just sharing with you my daily life with you guys like I have for seven years now. So anyway, but I'm hoping to do videos a little bit more consistently and if there's things that you would like to see or if you have questions about, I'd love to open up some forms to do that. I will only be opening up certain videos kind of as forum boards for comments just because I think that most of the time we should be watching content and then going and living our lives. I think sometimes we tend to watch and scroll and I just would like to discourage people from doing that. So that's my reason for having comments closed on most of my videos. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the organization for today. So first off, we're going to choose a binder and I just got everything that I am showing you guys from the dollar store. So I have my binder here. Um, they don't need to be super fancy. It's nice if you like the color because um, it'll encourage you to use it. You can put stickers on it, make it fancy, and make it your own. You're going to need some plastic uh, protectors. These are the sheet protectors. You're going to fit most of your paperwork into these. If you need some additional, um, like if you have a lot of thick paperwork, I would suggest getting a hole punch for it or you can also um, put like a manila envelope and put a three punch in the manila envelope. You can also buy a peachy folder and have peachy folders that have the hole punches in them. So that's just a way to keep those things organized. Then you're going to need some dividers, and so these are going to be kind of the different sections within your binder, so you can have one for taxes, medical, uh, kids stuff, um, you can have stuff for, you know, like ongoing things. I, I have, I, I had an ongoing binder that has like my birth certificate, social security, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff, um, but you want to have different sections in there so it's easy to access and you don't get stuff that's lost. I usually have one for car stuff and all those things. So we'll have these for the dividers. This was just something that I bought for myself and I'll probably use this in a different video but I thought this was a great planner. Sometimes you can find these really lightweight planners at the dollar store. I don't like carrying around, well because of my back issues I don't carry anything that's heavy but I like things that are the really lightweight slim things that you can just fit into a bag or a purse and you don't feel like you have to be carrying around the weight of the world on your shoulders. You don't need to become Atlas but I'll probably use that for another video. Now you're gonna take this and you're gonna stab it. No, just kidding. Just gonna cut the top off there. And so now that we have these lovely dividers in place, we can go ahead and take some of the important paperwork that we need and we'll put these into the sheet protectors and then we'll tuck them right inside of here. Alright, so here's the finished product and I have all my little tabs for my paperwork and there's my binder and then I will be adding things to this. You can have one for each person in your household if you feel like that's necessary. Another great thing to do is have like a spot for coupons and things that you're going to maybe be using more throughout the year. Um, so yeah, I hope that that is helpful. 
and I've been using this binder system for probably about five years now and I find it really awesome. So if you like to keep things tidy and organized and you don't want to have to shovel through a million things of paperwork, the binder system. <laughs>